morning guys do another quick video here uh, my daughter and I just finished up this third row here uh, I let her have a good portion of it to plant whatever she wanted to plant I mean I gave her some um, seeds you know that and that would do well right now so but so along here it's really grassy I need to come out I'm not gonna have time this morning but I need to come out and get the hoe and, and get back at it because it I mean it just this is almost a daily chore but around it along in here she planted some sunflowers and uh this looks like paw prints right there I don't know if something came through here or not and uh then along in here you can kind of see right there some dark rows that I scratched into the ground planted some carrots there and then over here and over here planted some English peas they don't really do well in Florida but we will give them a try I keep trying them just to see if I can get them to work but um, I just haven't had a lot of luck with them I think the vine borers get to them or something uh, you can see right there there is a chayote squash coming up so I have two of them that have started to come up I'll show you the other one really quick and it is right here that's the second one that one actually came up first and then the other one I showed you came up second and there's another one planted down here. There's the chives. They look, they're hanging in there. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's chives and what's grass, but uh, the third chayote squash is right in here somewhere. And it hasn't come up. It might not come up. Sometimes when you, when you plant them, they just, um, cause you have to plant the whole fruit. It rots in the ground so it may not come up but we've got a, we've, i've got two that have come up so at least i got some and here are the last snake beans that i planted they've popped up these blanket flowers this is what they tend to do they look they look sorry and then all of a sudden they'll just burst into flowers and then they'll go to look sorry again and they'll burst into flowers again um these snake beans over here are looking really well this is the one i was concerned about see how something had chewed holes in it but it pushed past it and it's doing well um, they're doing well over here there's some sunflowers that i planted coming up i planted tomato the yellow pear tomatoes in here and they didn't come up in this spot there's some more sunflower right there and here's some more snake bean but if you look right here there's some tomato that I planted that did come up and there go the hawks again um, so I've been gradually thinning it out letting them get bigger and then looking for the ones that are the hardiest looking and then I pull the other ones out some people will just nip them with scissors at the base but I try to carefully just pull them out most of the time because I forget to bring scissors and there's like three hawks flying overhead and making all kinds of noise. And there goes some more of the snake beans. Seminole pumpkin. Seminole pumpkin. They're looking good. Seminole pumpkin. They're starting to get their true leaves in. Seminole pumpkin. And Seminole pumpkin. So these are all doing well. Um... I'm probably going to try to plant, oh, here's some sunflowers popping up in the middle there. I'm probably going to try to plant, like come maybe to the side. I might try to work in some greens or something like that, some kale. Uh, I did plant over in this side, and now I don't remember where, but along in here, somewhere in here, I planted some collard greens. I don't know if they'll come up or not. And it's hard to tell because of all the weeds popping up. You know, I really love Florida, but there are some things that drive me nuts. And that's one of them is the, the weeds and the grass here are just, they're incredibly 
hard to deal with. But I'll probably come along in the side here, along the sides, and maybe throw in some kale or throw in some, some mustards or something. Um, I don't think I have any actual lettuce. I might plant some broccoli somewhere. Maybe I'll stick some in between the uh, chives. But I, um, I had thought about digging another bed, uh, just, a, just a small greens bed. But I don't know if I will or not. Because the area that I was going to do it gets frequented by a raccoon. And I don't want to have a raccoon coming through and, you know, tearing up my greens. I'm just walking out here. I did some chopping and dropping around some of these out here. This is the Meyer lemon tree. I really don't know if the Meyer lemon is going to do anything, but it's growing, so I'm leaving it alone. And you can look and see all the bee balm blooming. And it, it's gotten to be a mess in here because it just, the Spanish needles and stuff came back and I got to come out here and clean this up. That's a, that's a trend you're going to see in my gardens is I'm not a neat gardener. I, I don't, a lot of times I forget to do something. I have something more important I want to do. Here's the star fruit and this thing is growing really well. I'm really happy with it. It's doing it likes it over here and it's growing really fast I did some chopping over here and around the moringa I did some over here around the mulberry which this thing has all of a sudden just exploded with this is the most berries at one time this thing has ever made hey look at all that this is just an ever-bearing mulberry and it is I don't know. I guess it all of a sudden it's just gotten happy because it has made more berries at once than we've ever had. Here's another cluster right there. Not ready yet, but we've already something. The I, I would be willing to bet that, that might be a silkworm because I've had to actually cut limbs down that were wrapped in silk. From silkworms here but you can see down there that's some lemongrass that I have that big clump that I planted right there and I when it gets tall I just hack some off the top and I toss it down around the base of the trees and the bananas are doing well there's another leaf coming out I wish it would put out a bloom but I don't know if they're old enough I don't know if they're ready the little ones doing well but I'm trying to, a lot of times I'll come out here and just toss food scraps right at the base of it because they like to eat. So and we've gotten um, some decent rain, but I don't know. I don't know. These are ice cream bananas, as I've said before. I don't know exactly when they're going to, uh, when they're going to bloom. I don't know how old they have to be before they bloom. And these are probably a year and a half, two years old. That's the middle one here, especially. That's the original tree. But we'll see what happens. But that's, that's all I got going for today. Um, I have to go to the dentist, which I'm not looking forward to. But i got to do what i got to do. And I'll be... I don't know if I'll be back out tomorrow because I've got the day off and me and the family are going to go do something. Um, but I need to come out here and hoe something fierce. Well, I say that and it's not, I mean, it's the grass is coming in over here. I need to get this all ready and finish mulching in between. But it's not terrible in the actual growing rows. But I need, I'm trying to keep it no more than, no bigger than what it is right here because the, once it gets bigger, it's harder to get out. It's harder to cut. So I don't want it to get much bigger before I hoe it. 
so that's what I gotta do. I gotta come in here and just take the hoe and, and scrape along and take the weeds out or cut them. And that's about it. Let me check since I'm right here, check on my, the base of this yam. Some of the leaves are dying, but if you go up, it's going up, 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 up. And it's all the way up there. It looks good. So, and a lot of times I just chop and drop and, you know, leave that. I'll show you one last thing before I cut it off. There's my poor cranberry hibiscus. I need to really cut some weeds down in there. And I don't know if that thing is going to survive. But uh, the cassava right over there, I'm thinking about... Um, once I start cutting it down, which I'm about to do, thinking about selling some of the canes. So if you're watching this and you're interested, I don't know how well they'll ship if it's a long, you know, a long way. But especially if you're in the south area, um, they may be good to plant if you'd like to try them. So I will be, I will alert more whenever I cut them down and cause I'm going to keep some canes for myself and then I'll sell the others. I'm thinking about selling the others. So that's it for today. And I will be back. It probably won't be tomorrow, probably be Wednesday or so, but I will be back and we will uh, give you another update. Take care.